Hey, Buzzheads, welcome to the 70s Buzz Podcast. I'm Curtis Tucker. And I'm Todd Wheeler, bringing you our memories, or lack thereof, of growing up in the 70s. We are not a history podcast. We just want you guys to know that. Sometimes we get things wrong, and if you listen to us long enough, you're going to be screaming at your device trying to give us the right answers. Listen up as we recount growing up in the Midwest and our unique experience. Go to 70sbuzz.com for more info and leave us your thoughts. Let us know if you guys have any show ideas, if you'd like us to uh, get you on as an advertiser. And don't forget, please leave us reviews on your favorite podcasting apps. We're, we're on air. Hello, is anybody out there? We are about to start the Facebook Live, if you are listening on the podcast. Yeah, it's going to take a minute to ramp up here. Yep. Um, oh, yeah. Can you hear us? Yep. I can hear me. Okay, i got to turn that volume down. Now I have to share... Nancy Saylor Killamza. Hi, Nancy. Nancy. And Paul Jarman. Hey. Good day, Paul. Let us know if you guys, uh, if how our sound quality is. We're doing another weird sound thing. <laughs> <laughs> Always experimenting with sound and microphones and yeah, things like it that. It takes a while. Uh, see, I need to share. Pardon me while I share. Share. Where am I sharing? Share. Share to group, not to group. Uh, page. Wait, 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 it won't tell me where I'm. Uh, it's not letting me share the page. Why can't I share it to a page? Ah. Hey, well, I don't know, Mr. Wheeler. Someone's. Hello, Graham. Hello, Thor. <gasps> oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got to do the sharing stuff. Kimberly, here. David Ruff, two others are watching. Uh, hey, everybody, thanks for checking in. Again, let us know uh, how the sound quality is, if you guys can hear us. Hang on, are you ready to go on camera? I think he's ready to go on camera. <laughs> we just, hey, come here. Come here, bud. Come here. He says, no, I want Dottie. Come here. <laughs> there he is, the new Shaggy Duck 70s Buzz mascot. Thor. Graham. He's Thor. Thank you, Thor. Yeah, him, Thor. Can, can you tell him? everybody hello without biting me? Hey, uh, okay. tell everybody hi. hi. Tell them hi. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> I, I know, yeah. You want to come see me, but hang on. I'm trying to figure this out. Toddy's got to get the show going. Oh, look, I see you. <laughs> Do you see you? <laughs> I see you. Do you see you? Just a minute, buddy. Uh, hang on, Grammy Graham. Why is it not letting me share? Hang on, Grammy Graham. Oh, no, don't eat my microphone. He already ate my microphone. I don't know why you can't share. You just, uh, I don't know. It says write to post, copy link, share to group. No, don't share a group. Share to um, people are chiming in. Um, thanks, Kimberly. This is our uh, the new family mini Aussie Doodle named Graham. He's my uh, the Shaggy Duck Shaggy Dog mascot. Hey, Philip. Oh well. Uh, no, this is we're gonna make this happen. Uh, oh, sorry. You, you weren't on camera. Look. Hey, look. Look at the camera, mister. Look at the camera. There you go. There you go, Graham. I'm put you down for I, a sec. I, 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 I. So Graham is in the studio. We'll show him again here in a sec. <laughs> I know, buddy. Todd tries to figure. Um, he like he likes he likes me more than his daddy. Don't you, Thor? Yeah, he's a good Thor. No, he's a he good knows Thor. you let him eat your microphone. <laughs> Hang on, buddy. I'm trying to figure this out. All this, uh, hi, Susan. Hey, Susan. Thanks for checking in. You just missed Graham. I'll hold him up, or Todd, or hold, one of us will hold him up here in a sec. Why am I so, not? Uh, I'm going to jump We got to get going. We got podcasters listening that are like, you guys aren't saying anything. Hey, Graham, come back. <whistles> come here, bud. Oh, I know. So, anyway, welcome to tonight's uh, live Facebook forum. If you guys are just listening on the podcast, you guys can always go to YouTube. Hey, Bill. 
Phil Burkhart checking in. Uh, you guys can go to youtube.com slash Curtis Tucker TV. I got it. And see this episode on uh, video and check us out there. And, and then don't forget, uh, right after this, Todd and I will be recording Buzzhead Radio, an episode Buzzhead of Buzzhead Radio. Buzzhead Radio. Buzzhead Radio. Buzzhead Radio. Buzzhead Radio. We should be on. Yeah. Okay. We're there. Are you there? Okay. We're there. And my iPad is locked up, so. Come here, buddy. Come here. Dun, dun, dun. Say hi, Graham. Tell everybody hi. Say hi, Graham. What are they saying? I can't. My... Jason Gilbo. <laughs> Gilbo is in the room. I'm not sure why that's not loading. <laughs> Tell everybody hi, Graham. So, uh, so Mr. Wheeler, uh, so what's our phone number? Call. You guys can give us a holler like Dave did at 580-541-3805. Look at that. He remembered without looking. Committed to memory or hit us up at buzz at buzzheadmedia.com if you guys want to send us an email. And uh, we need to answer a few of Dave's questions. Dave had a few questions this evening. I don't think he's on yet. Dave, but uh, So Dave asked if... Uh, now, I did not get the puppy, Graham, for the girls. I actually got Graham for my wife yeah. uh, to give her something to do. Once he gets a little older, she'll be able to take him out on the trail and, and all that good stuff. So, um, so, But yeah, he has grown very attached to me. If I go to get dinner, he sits around and whines. Uh, and because, fortunately, me getting to work at home... Uh, we're together 24/7. So <laughs> anyway, okay. what's your what's your thing to do here? There you go. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi, Thor. Okay. Hi. Hello, Facebook people. Okay. And his name's Graham, by the way. Todd's just trying to confuse you all. Okay. Hey, get get your shoe, bud. Get your shoe, bud. So ah, it's time for the '70s Buzz Podcast. Yes, it is. Um, and Dave also asked. Uh, let's see, I work out, so in the summer, when I run, um, I'm usually out between 90 and 100 minutes, so usually around 90, so if I run, I can usually get seven miles, in the winter, I don't run as much, I go uh, fast walk, and so probably five miles, and then um, I just do push-ups and dumbbells, uh, as far as lifting weights, and not very much of that anymore, but enough to keep me in mm. shape. Yeah. As opposed to myself, like today, I was lifting up. Oh, I don't know how heavy that beam was. You guys, I don't know if you guys saw that big beam. Where, I saw it on yeah. your Facebook page. Yeah, uh, these big beams. When you, but it was, yeah, it's big. It's probably a couple hundred pounds at least. And we had to carry it up a ladder eight feet on top of these posts. And it was quite precarious. Hi, Debbie. The dog. <laughs> yeah, Kenny. Yeah, yeah. It don't take much to make me look respectable. I'm on the verge of irrespectable. Non, irrespectable. non, non respectable. Non respectable. I don't know. Unrespectable. Come on, comment. Show up for me, please. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Bill Burkhart's on. Yeah, I said hi to Bill. I missed that. That's Thanks for Thor checking was, in. Thor was rabbit. Yeah, me. Todd. Uh, what do you guys think about Todd's uh, new? Uh, that's new, right? Sweatshirt? Yeah. yeah, I got it for Christmas. I, I saved it for tonight. I hadn't worn it yet. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, from some my my, gran, are. my grandkids made this for me. Actually made it. Then you know tie dyed it and did all this stuff. Yeah. So uh, Todd and I are thinking about tie dyeing our own shirts and uh, putting our own designs on them. So yeah, like a limited edition, maybe hundred. Maybe so. Possibly one of these. Hey, uh, show them. Okay, so okay, so you all <laughs> several. Several episodes back, um, had requested Shaggy Duck stickers. Ah. I was waiting to add something to your packages, which came in, and here it is. Dun, dun, dun. That will be added to <laughs> your the people that requested the Shaggy Duck. That will be uh, in the package. Don't oh, don't oh. show you now. Th now they can slow motion that and screenshot oh, it, and they're no, gonna. No. I just told them how to do it. <laughs> So anyway, that will be uh, in. I will get those out this week. Your little care packages that will be included. 
Um, Jason says, I have a good topic for a future show. You may have done this before. Memorable teachers. Oh, no, we haven't done teachers. Not a whole, not a whole episode on teachers. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Sherry Davenport, Ain't Tracy's our, watching. Aynar Huskinen. H.R. Huskinen. Tammy, Ain't Tana, no. your daughter's on. Hi, Tana, we a Bobana. That would be fun. Hey, Hi, Deb George. Okay, so Deb Jordan Schwant just uh, chimed in. So Hi, Deb. we have to present. Um, this was part of Deb's gifts to the 70s Buzz podcast. This very cool mystery machine. It's a clock and a light. Can you, and may, let us know if you guys can hear us good. Um, unfortunately, the buttons, if you can see there, the buttons have gone inside, and I'm going to have to open it up and, and get the buttons out. But there's our mystery machine. And then... We showed Todd's mystery machine. No, we didn't. We didn't show it, but we talked about it because we weren't live. But oh, yeah, he got the other mystery machine and a Carpenter's album, and then this is. Oh yeah, I guess I should have brought that. This is my new my new vinyl. Yeah. A uh, KTEL, and I'm just going to read to you real quick what's on side two. Terry Jack, Seasons in the Sun, Rock and Roll Hoochie Coo. Meet me on the corner down at Joe's Cafe. Save the last dance for me. Rings, the Lord's Prayer, Love's Theme, mm, mm. Show and Tell. Hang on. Lord's Prayer. Who did that? Uh, Sis- that is Sister, Sister Janet Mead. Okay. That, finally, that was my first 45. Oh, well, it's right Remember, here. Remember, I the, told you it was like. You know, I was going to play this in the background. I might I might put this on here in a few minutes. Yeah. To okay, play in the that b- was my first 45. Okay. The Lord's Prayer. Very cool. Well, there it is. Okay. Okay, but we don't want Facebook to uh, shut us off, so I no. don't, we'll see. Um, uh, sounds like we're people are hearing us okie dokie. Okay. We're we're trying to yeah, just ignore that we don't have the ear. Anyway, <laughs> we're just trying different things for yeah. these Facebook lives. Yeah, yeah. The um, technology keeps advancing, so now we can hook two microphones up to a Facebook Live, which we haven't been able to in the past. We just can't find the right mics yet, um, so... We'll get there. All right. We'll get there. Um, what else? Uh, Dave didn't have anything else. Okay, so tell everybody about, we'll do, tell it. So Christopher Todd, I don't know that he's on yet, but uh, he is. he's our uh, resident musician. Oh, yeah, he's kind of famous now. He Tell him about it. Oh, he wrote and performed at least three songs. I think three, yeah. Um, on this new movie that came out, and you can, you can watch it on... I w- I've got it on Amazon Prime. Yeah, Amazon Prime, and I think it's also on, not Hulu, one of, one of those streaming services. It's called uh, Rucker. Um, i got to warn you right up front, it's it's a different movie, and it's pretty gory. Uh, it's about a serial killer. Yeah, and, and not the kind of cereal you eat for breakfast. Um, he has, like, 51 victims. Yeah, he's serious about his slashing. Uh, but it's 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 very different. Uh, there was Grant Richard Cuevas chimed in. Hey, Richard. Hi, bud. Yeah, so I haven't downloaded the movie to watch yeah. it yet, but Do Todd it. went ahead and watched it, but I'll go ahead and watch it too. So if you guys want to support Christopher Todd, yes. um, go. Uh, I can't. Why can't we ever remember where his music's at? Um, he's on one of those streaming services, Christopher Todd Davis. So go there and uh, so... There's Graham, the uh, resident uh, '70s Buzz and Shaggy Duck mascot, and no, I could have got I could have got like a, a puppy with a with a mohawk, and he would have been a '80s puppy, but I went for the Shaggy puppy from the '70s, and yes. why would I do that, Mister Wheeler? Because it was the a greatest great decade known to man. man. Graham's like, what the heck are you guys screaming about? What are you guys about? yelling about? What are you screaming about? Yes, I know. Look at the camera. Look at the camera door. Tell it. Okay. Okay, bud. He's going to go in and eat here in a minute. So yeah. anyway, there's your there's your Graham fix for... Uh, if you guys... Again, I apologize if you guys are just listening to this on the podcast and not watching Facebook Live. Um, you're missing the little cutie patootie. So go to... Uh, but you can, you can they go back and watch it. Yeah. You can yeah. either go to Facebook... And watch it or go to uh, Curtis Tucker TV on YouTube and you can see Graham on there. And we put him on early in the episode. I'm, su- I'm surprised he's not eating your beads. Oh, he probably the first two weeks he tried, but he, he's smart. And he's so, smart. so see, he doesn't even try anymore. That's oh. how smart he is. And so this week we began Frisbee training, <laughs> ah. which, uh, you know, we know that Frisbees were a huge part of the 70s. Now, were yeah. you much of a Frisbee 
Oh, yeah, I love Frisbee. Frisbee guy yeah. back in the 70s. Yeah. I, could, I could throw him this way or I could throw him this way. I was pretty good. Now, here's a question for you and you guys out there. Did they have Frisbee golf in the 70s? or mm. We just played Frisbee, right? I think it was just Frisbee. I don't remember golf. I remember, yeah. No. And then Wolf. That was Thor. Uh, what you doing? Come here. And I remember Frisbees at concerts back when you could, like, have beach balls and Frisbees in a uh, pot. Yeah. Seems like every time we went to the beach or a park, it was always Frisbee. Yeah. So, but I'm training him right now on a golf, a, uh, they call them discs, a Frisbee disc golf. Is it a different it, size or something? Yeah. They're smaller, isn't They're it? smaller and they're really hard and really oh. rigid. And they... Are they heavier? And way heavier. Oh. But they're small. And so he can get his mouth and move it around. But once once I once he gets a little bigger, then we'll move to regular frisbee where he I'm gonna teach him how to catch it in the air. So <laughs> how much bigger is he gonna get? You know, they they you just never know because he's a mixed breed between a uh Australian shepherd and a poodle. But I think he'll max out at could be eighteen inches tall and twenty five pounds. Oh, that's a good size. So yeah. He's, but he's a mini Aussie Doodle, so he won't get to like Aussie Doodle size. He'll be, but he's not a toy Aussie uh, Doodle. He's a mini, so he's kind of stuck right there in the middle. Uh, okay. so. Hey Neil. Hey Neil. We are waiting for that pizza Ria to open any it's moment be now. Thirty first. The thirty first. Oh, I thought it was the fifteenth. No, thirty first. All right. So. Oh, are they gonna have a soft opening? Neil, soft, soft opening. Soft opening. And you know who you got to invite. Is he commenting? <laughs> see him comment. Come on, comments. Where yeah. are you? There they are. Good morning, there. Okay. So, um, okay. I was, uh, what have I been watching? Oh, Super 8. Again? Yeah, have you watched Super 8? You've watched Super 8. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what year that was set? Have you guys watched, have you guys seen Super 8? Super 8, it was a, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have. Period. It was a. It was set when the movie was made, right? Oh no, it was a period. It's a period piece. Yeah, you didn't don't don't, don't did, 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 didn't recognize it. Uh, I guess um, I didn't think it was seventy. It was set late late seventies. Nineteen seventy nine. Yeah. Super eights. and then and then I've also been watching a jillion times. Almost famous. Have you seen Almost Famous? <gasps> the kid, uh, the young kid, uh, goes along with the the band called Stillwater. And he's writing the piece for Rolling Stone. Oh yes, I have seen. And it's got Kate Jack or Kate Hudson in it. I think I have seen that. Um, I've seen it like twenty times now. But the cool thing about that is it's got a great soundtrack. Mm -hmm. um, so it's one again. Somebody's commented huge up there. Um, <laughs> it's one of those movies where I don't actually have to watch. I can just listen to the soundtrack. <laughs> Richard Cuevas said he saw the end of Benji earlier. Oh, um, Cindy Mary Ellen. Who's, have we? Hi, Cindy Mary Ellen. Have we? Have we talked to her before? Uh, not that I'm aware um, of. Um, uh, gosh, I haven't seen a Benji movie in forever. Have you seen the new movie George Clooney directed, set in the '70s? No. Oh, is that Tinder? Uh, Tinder, the Tinder, the Tinder bar. I have not seen I that. I think I didn't realize. Uh, oh, yeah, hey, right there. It says called Tinder Bar. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't finish reading the comment. I have seen that pop up. Um, hey, guess who just snuck in? Bye, Denise, buddy. Denise. Okay, okay. Denise, come say hi. Oh, you can't open it anymore. Uh, yeah, you can lock. The camera okay, over. bye. Well, that was the uh, that was the famous Mrs. Tucker. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, she but, took she took Graham. Bye, Graham. Uh, no, I didn't. I, I thought it was set earlier. It kind of looked like 70s, -ish, but I didn't realize that. So, so what what year? It's set in the 70s. So I'm going to go home and watch that tonight. So if you got Amazon Prime, it's free. Just watch it. And uh, it's called what again? Tender Bar. And what's it about? Oh, Ben Flack's older. There's a kid. I'm not sure what it's about. Uh, maybe I have seen previews for that. Oh, My whole point of bringing up Super 8. I feel young. And almost famous is there's another movie out just came out in November called Licorice Pizza. Have you seen the previews mm. for that? No, I haven't. Uh, Licorice Pizza, uh, 2021 American coming of age comedy drama, film written directed by Paul Thomas Anderson, uh, set in 1973. Ooh, that's it good. stars Alana Haim. She's from the group Haim. Cooper Hoffman, who is. 
Hoffman's son, the one that died, okay, that was in Twister, um, Sean Penn, Tom Waits, Bradley Cooper, wow, are in it. Um, I love Bradley. Cooper. Licorice Pizza is a lovely um, sense of swing and shagginess, suggesting the wandering spirit of other '70s set movies. Fifteen-year-old actor Gary Valentine. Uh, Philip Seymour's son Philip Seymour yeah. engages in a potential romance with a drift twenty-something woman, uh, Alana Kane, who is from Haim. Do you do you do you see what we've started? What have we, oh, all this '70s stuff wasn't big until about four years, four and a half years ago, when he and moi, he us started the. That's right. I also we re, yeah. I also ran across an article where they're comparing the '20s, the '2020s, to the 1970s. Because of certain things that are happening, yeah, and yeah. and all of the '70s styles are coming back, right. and um, so yeah. Where can you watch Licorice Pizza? You know, I'm not sure. I think it was released in the theater, so I don't know where you'd be able to watch it right now. No, no telling. Um, probably on what's that? HBO Max, Max, maybe. I don't know. Oh. I don't know, but I, I haven't. I need to. We need to find out. Yeah. Hey, Paul. Paul Baker's watching. Uh, hey, Paul. uh Neil says I am that way with Spinal Tap. <laughs> uh, watching it and just to, yeah. for the soundtrack. Yeah. Uh yeah. yeah, very cool. If I find out Cindy, I will post um download TV time. There's so much stuff. It's amazing to me. So, you know, when we grew up, we had three channels and four, channel 13 every and now and then. 13, and then and then the UHF thing came out. That yeah. was pretty cool. Oh yeah. And then the subscription, you know, HBO came out, so that was pretty cool. And then Cinemax, and that was a lot. So there was a lot to watch. And then, Cinemax had nudie movies. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about it. Cinemax After Dark. That's what it was oh, called. Oh, yeah. Cinemax After Dark. And then, um, and then satellite, you know, people were doing satellites, and there was a whole plethora of stuff. But now with the streaming stuff, there is so much stuff to watch and so much cool stuff. Um, you can't watch it all. I mean, Oh yeah, but no. what's cool is is it's it's know, available. It's available whenever you don't have to, you know you don't have to worry about missing the show. You don't have to worry about coming home at five o'clock and watching it. And that's exactly what a podcast is. Exactly. Even though we're doing this live on Facebook, you can still go back and listen to the podcast because it's recorded and you can hear it anytime you want. Bill uh, says Skin Max, Skin Max, Skin Max. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember those days. I don't think we ever had. My mom never bought Cinemax, but we had HBO, and I think HBO had. Oh, race, yeah. Had racy movies yeah. after ten or, but uh, now the stuff on just regular TV is. Oh, dude, the stuff on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, just I mean, just on on broadcast TV. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, oh, ABC, they show I, they show butts on primetime before regular TV, like oh, yeah. ABC, CBS, NBC. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Oh Man. yeah. Uh, Deb says there's been no plans announced for Licorice Pizza to to hit streaming sites. So where did you see it at? Uh, I've saw, seen pre no I've oh. seen previews for it on TV oh. but then I looked it up and I watched the trailer and it's it it's I think it's going to be it's kind of like one of those um independent feeling type movies I mean I don't think it's going to be as fun as like Dazed and Confused oh. and Super 8 and so it's it's more of a I don't know I I also, I'm still going to watch it but I don't know that it's Oh, Cindy Mary Ellen, Mary Ellen is in Canada, come to find out. Oh, really? They have a brand new series here in Canada set in the 70s in NFDL. What's NFDL? I don't know. Called Son of a Critch. Son of a Critch. Interesting. Interesting. So, Cindy, you're up in Canada. Hey. Hey, don't be too... That'd be Canada. Isn't that Canada? 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 Yeah. We love our Canuck friends. Mm -hmm. Hey. Need a big for your milk? <laughs> I love, hey. I love Sid. That's a, that's the only that's the only thing I know in Canada. Ease Canadian ease Canadian ease. Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Oh, Newfoundland. Oh, very cool. Um, How long you been watching, listening, chiming in? We find out people have been listening for years and didn't even know it because they're you know they don't come out and say hey what's going on. We call we call those lurkers. They're they're uh, lurking, lurking, lurking creepers, not creepers. Cause yeah. That bad. So no. so a quick update, um, and I may have updated this a little bit somewhere in in the past. Uh, Put it out, son. Banana Seat Squad. <laughs> I've done the logo. Yeah. And I've hired a cartoonist that I really like his style even more than mine. And I don't have the time. And 
doing my own logos is never I always change them. Um, and so he is working on the logo. It should have been done this weekend, but he felt like he did something wrong. And so he's going to, so when he gets me the artwork and I put it with the logo, we will, um, we will, um, what do I say? We will show the new, uh, okay. Okay. Cindy, I apologize for not remembering. She, she's been on here from the beginning. We have talked in Texas many times. Okay. From Thank Canada. You. She's the. She's our kinetic, kinetic, kinetic. I guarantee kinetic. if I click on your picture better than I'll, yes, yes. Well, thank you. Well, you thank know you. about our memories, right? Memories. Do you guys know about our memories that we don't? the corners of my mind. We don't have memories. <laughs> yeah, we don't got no, we ain't got no memories. We ain't got no stinking memories. Yeah, but, it, but it is getting better. I must say our memories are getting better. You, I don't know that mine is. Uh, maybe it's anyway, just from repetition. So. Hey, and while we got you guys' attention, don't forget there will be a Buzzhead Radio episode, Buzzhead Radio. Buzzhead Radio. Buzzhead Radio. which we will record directly after this episode. After this episode. We haven't decided if we're going to be live during the Buzzhead Radio episode or not, but we'll let you guys know as we get closer. Yeah. It's going to be like a last-second decision. So when are we going to pull this guy? Oh, I don't. I guess out. we can do it now. So okay. explain what that is. Okay. So the other day, I was uh, listening to one of our. Uh, I think it was a live, actually. I think maybe it was our last live. Uh huh. And um, we were talking about different things from our past, and you said, "Ah, oh, you know, you're like basically it's like, oh, that was cool. I'm going to get me one of those." And of course, you forgot all about it. But I, I must say, I, I must say that a million times. I, I did not forget all about it, and so I get on the old Webernet, uh oh, the old interwebby thingy, and and oh, is is Deb still on? Deb, I think so. Deb, I'm repurposing your your package. Your thing's blocking the the view, so I'm. Well, this no, they can see it. You okay. just can't see it. So anyway, thanks, Deb. I'm reusing your package, and then you have to reuse it someday too. Okay. Because it, 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 I think it's. I think she made that. I think it's handmade. It could be. Yeah. Don't throw that away. Or I'll just keep it with me. Okay. Yeah, there you, you go. Just keep it with you. Yeah. There okay. You so so this is like a surprise. I have no idea what the heck he's <laughs> even talking about here. So oh, there's Deb. Got the smiley face from Deb. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. <laughs> The drum roll. Tissue. <laughs> oh, I remember now. Why? Did, <laughs> see, my memory, my memory is not better because I, I swear I was going to go to the internet that night uh -huh. and order me a troll, and completely forgot about. It. Look mm. what Toddy did. He got me a, a green, a green one, haired troll uh -huh. from the seventies mm. with a. Love sweater on. <laughs> How cool is that? I'm going to open it. Open it. I don't want to leave it he's, in the package. He's been holding his breath for like six oh weeks. <laughs> six weeks? Has well, it been that long since I... Well, we talked... I think it was uh, the the Chris, the live before Christmas. That so, is no, so it's not funny. Been six weeks, but... I, again, open it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to apologize to everybody on the podcast again why is that well they aren't watching the facebook live because they don't get to see all this cool stuff oh, well now they should go watch it like diane rogers castellano oh man <laughs> oh you guys come on now who remembers these you guys remember these the yeah. troll dolls if so. you're on just on the podcast so this pr troll doll is uh were they all were they all the same guy, or did they have different characters? Um, nowadays, there's different characters. Oh, and mine, look at that! And mine was smaller. What's it, what's what are you doing? Got like a diamond. Oh, a di yeah. Got like a diamond in belly the belly button. button. So mine was smaller than that. Mine was, and they have different sizes. And that and you the, ordered are from the '70s. The one I remember, I me having was smaller. I I think the ones I had as a kid were smaller yeah, too. But now they have different facial expressions and stuff. Uh, so, okay. Yeah. So there you go. Name. Very cool. So he his, his name's Thor too. He'll be added to the. <laughs> I'll find a spot for him here soon, and he'll How be. How come your lava lamp? I lamps did. Off? I forgot completely about it. Oh, Don't God. have the lava lamp going. Doggone it! Too many things. <laughs> <laughs> my awesome. Who said awesome? Uh, Kelly did. Hey Kelly. We say hi to. Oh, oh Sherry's oh. on. Hey Sherry. She's been on. She's been on. Has she? I, yeah, she was. My on my comments weren't working. They just now came back on, so. 
I've missed I've missed a few. You guys are we still coming in loud and clear? Taboli. Out there? Taboli. I had Taboli for dinner. Yes, you did. So anyway. <laughs> Uh, My catchphrase for you right there. Yeah. That'd be a good t shirt. Anyway. That, that would be. We got what's the other one I thought the other day I checked I chimed keep, in. Keep like, um, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, we've got about uh five thousand t shirt ideas that we're gonna get uh get cruising here. Uh yeah, one of these days. And I almost had um the greatest decade known to man design done yeah and just for some reason i just wasn't liking it oh. no that i just that that was like so that's basically well i don't want to tell them but that's basically just from our podcast and uh -huh. i just added that real quick yeah at i want the top I, and bottom i want to get some, some of those flowers and put them in my put them in my studio yeah big yeah. one like big ones like five six feet or whatever i wonder if we could have oh i bet paul can make some yeah even if they were like in two pieces, it'd be cool to Where's make Paul Stone. Big, Paul Stone, big make foam ones or something. You hey, Gwen, Gwen. Oh, Gwen, hi, Gwen. Kelly loves your sweatshirt. Yes, that is a very cool sweatshirt. There's um, Dave. Yeah, my my grandkids made this, and my yeah, my great yeah. Well, they're, you Dave know, just checked in. Fun. Sorry, Dave, you missed uh, Graham. He went off to eat. You missed Thor, Dave. He came in too late, but you can rewind. Yeah, just rewind. <laughs> Um, and so, uh, what question? And we answered all your questions too, Dave. We think, pretty so much. I think we did for the most part. But um, yeah, so Graham is actually was was purchased for my wife. So, oh so yeah, he was asking if it was the girls. No, Graham slash Thor is uh, Denise's. Yeah, daughter. the girls are off to college, so uh, they're kind of out of the picture. They just happen to be here because of Christmas. But so in the seventies. You had the coolest dog, Jeremiah. When we went to Waller Junior High, yeah. it's actually my brother's dog. Oh, was that your brother's dog? Yeah, yeah. Well, but I didn't really know him until your brother passed, so right. he was your dog. Yeah, I kind of so, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was a big old collie dog, and he ran the neighborhood. And he would actually come to our junior high out on the <laughs> playground and let people pet him, and then he'd go back home. Yeah, because I lived, I still live. What was that four blocks from our junior high? Almost uh, just a stone throw from the football field. Yeah, I can actually, th I can literally throw, oh man, not, not anymore. But uh, And then when the bands were marching and stuff, he just like, yeah, the crews were I kind of remember that, in, yeah. In between, and they just let him, you know. Because back then, we didn't, people didn't really have to put your dogs in the backyard. We never had a fence. Well, you know, our little gang on West Broadway, where we played the Musclins game and all that, one of the guys with us, David Rathbun, who lived right there on West Broadway, he had a dog named Freckles. And Freckles never had a fence or a collar or a... Really? Yeah, I mean, what? Am Nothing. I I, I, hey, Bert's on. I'm missing something. Yeah, you are. Missing? My comment... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, we did what? We did the phrase. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Who said Who asked? Oh, I don't know. I think somebody just asked. Oh, Bert, that was Brent. What are you grinning over there for, though? You didn't see the... I'll, I'll tell you later. Did you get a um, Oh, did we get a... <laughs> oh, I can't finish reading this. Dave says, um, hey, guys, I'm I'm here. I was chatting with my girlfriend in Massachusetts. Only problem is she doesn't know that yet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, Dave, t do tell. S spill the tea. That's a new phrase. Spill the tea? I had Actually, it's an old phrase. I didn't know that until my, my youngest son... Said, said that. He said, Dad, spill the tea. I'm like, I don't know what we're talking about. I'm like, what do you mean spill the tea? He goes, you know, spill the tea. I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. It wasn't like, we didn't say that in the 70s, did Heck, we? No, we did not say that. In the 70s. No. I don't know where it came from. I don't think it's old. I think they just think it's old. So I'm trying to add a, a tagline or a phrase to the bottom of Banana Seat Squad for the T-shirt and the sticker. And so I've been going through a lot of 70s slang, yeah. trying to come up with the right, and I haven't come up with the right phrase yet, but uh, you saw, I think, one that said something about the 70s Wonder Boys or something, yeah. but I'm not going with that. I'm changing it up. So. Does it need to be kind of shorter? It's got to be about five, four or five words. Yeah, it can't oh. be too long. Greatest decade none of men? Huh? Greatest decade none of men? Well, not for the banana seat. Squad, because that's going to be that's its old that's its own 
its own whole thing. Uh, yeah. We'll have it's it'll so greatest decade known to man. Yes, we have trademarked it. Um, we just haven't filed the trademark, to, which would be register. When you file a trademark, it becomes a registration mark. Yeah. Um, but we've got the trademark. Um, no, no, Susan. He said spill the tea, not spill the beans. Yeah, spill, spill the tea. I, I don't. And he explained it to me. It's like back in the day and back in the way back days when people would sit on the front porch and gossip. Oh. And somebody would like they'd be drinking tea, or you'd you know somebody spilled it, and I don't know, you know these kids nowadays. Yeah, you know go figure. Banana Seat Chronicles. Banana Seat Chronicles. That could work. That could work. It'll just pop up. It should be like three da, 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 three words like Banana Seat Chronicles. Well, it's, get... it's Banana Seat Squad. Right. Um. But you need like a like like a sub. Yeah. Like a, not a sub quote. Well, when a, you write a book, no matter what you title the book, the the publishers make you add another line that kind of describes more. Because mm-hmm. when you write a book, it might be called perplucity. Well, you, yeah. nobody knows what that means. So they, they always want you to have a line under your title that kind of ex- really explains the book. And so that's, I'm trying to. Not good. There we go. We're back. <laughs> we left. We're back. Um, I'm trying to come up with kind of a little catchphrase. Uh, are we still there? Are you guys still there? Are we uh, still there? I think we're still live. I think we're still live. Yeah, I see people. So anyway, uh, but I'll get it. We lost some people. Um, we got cut off there for a sec. Yeah. Sorry well, if that, we lost book. you. Yeah, let's book. Uh, but it should be like, Banana Seat Squad, The Boys of Summer. Yeah, I mean, it's something like that. Yeah. yeah, Banana Seat Squad, Adventure Around Every Corner, or... Mm-hmm. And I've added... Uh, anyway, you got... We'll, we'll divulge the design as soon as... Uh, I sh- should get it noted later than this next weekend. And then we will divulge that logo. We'll divulge the uh, decade... Um, greatest Decade Known to Man logo, and our Patreon account, and everything. Everything. Yeah, so... What's Dave doing? Uh, so, Dave, tell us about this uh, Massachusetts woman. This Massachusetts woman. I got one of those, but yeah, I'm sorry, Dave. So everybody, we we cut out for a second, so yeah. we apologize. Best of the seventies, yeah, yeah, that gamut. What happened? Interweb. Yeah. Wi-Fi. No telling. Sudden stink. Yeah, and that's uh, yeah, that's the one bad thing about recording. The uh, podcast, we're actually recording the actual audio for the podcast off of the Facebook Live. So if the Facebook Live goes out, oops, uh, yeah, so does the uh, podcast. So we'll have to just, next time it happens, again, it won't happen again. But if it were to, we just have to pause. And we need a, we need a, a sound. Do, 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 do. Oh, which, are, which reminds me, which reminds me. I'm going to ask you, hey, what was you guys' favorite um, game show back in the 70s? Mine probably was the oh. Gong Show. Was the Gong Show in the 70s or was that 80s? Ooh, I don't know. It was Price is Right. I was actually watching that yesterday morning. Price is Right? Yeah, because it was too cold to work, so I was waiting for it to warm uh-huh. up. They're on their 50th season. Holy moly. Who's even hosting that these days? Drew Carey. Oh. Drew Carey more? Drew, Drew, Drew McCary more. I got a little, I got a little, uh, a little teaser for the, uh, uh, for t- uh, the, the next podcast for Busshead Radio. Oh, go ahead, lay it on him. Yeah, a, l- a little teaser. Uh huh. I think I got a board ape. Oh, 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 oh. So Match game. Get. Let's make a deal. Hey, is it anybody's birthday out there? Uh, any of you Buzzheads have a birthday, right? Uh, this week, let us know. Uh, match game, match game, yeah, match game was kind of cool. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And they still, when I go to the bank, <laughs> they would get so drunk on that show. I go to the Stride Banks, the Stride Bank drive-through, and whatever channel they they have a little TVs you can watch while you're waiting on them to when you let the you send your thingy up and it goes to the people in the window. Oh really? They have little TVs and they have it on a channel that shows old episodes of game shows and match game was on. Oh really? Yeah. And I'm trying to think who the uh, stars were. 
Oh, we had uh, just talked about some of them. Oh, uh, 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 well, Richard Dawson, Richard you Dawson know, those guys. But there was one. somebody on that we had just talked about. And I can't remember. So they had like the three core. Oh, Betty White. Been. Betty White was on. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure she was on several times. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They had the three or four regulars. And Paul the, Lynn. They had the people that would come and yeah. go, depending on who was famous for the moment. Yeah. Uh, that was a good. Uh, oh, Rhett's birthday is on Friday. Graham ran, uh, well, maybe you should play the uh, the song. Graham went inside to eat. Yes. Tipsy Morris. Oh. Nipsey Russell. Are you talking about Nipsey Russell? He was on there. Tipsy Morris. Yeah, they, uh, they. I think they did get a little, uh, maybe Red, a little. Red Summers, yeah. She was a regular. She was on the top in the middle. And I don't know what she was famous for besides being on. I mean, I don't remember her on anything else. Hey. Um, she looks like she'd be fun to hang out with. Yeah. Fanny Flag. I wonder if they can still hear us or if it's like you guys out, yeah. Okay, we're back. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, there was a slight pause there, and it kind of knocked everybody off. You guys have to read. I don't know. We're going to figure out this whole live thing one of these days. Uh, Brett get like Summers a, was married to Jack Klugman? I didn't realize that. I did not either. Wow. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. They'd be a good couple. Everybody's uh, back. Yeah. It's buffering. Yeah. Uh, Suzanne Thomas. Uh, it's a memory. Yeah, it's that memory thing. Life what was your favorite game show, Mr. Wheeler? Oh, uh, Price is Right. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Although yep. I did like Match Game. Um, but they had those other ones that, that were uh, like like uh, uh, Betty White's husband. He hosted that password. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of, that well, was dating cool. game and um, oh, newlywed, newlywed game. I did like newlywed game, dating game not so much. But newlywed game. Newlywed hilarious. game was pretty funny. It was hilarious. What they call it? Uh, whoopee, making whoopee. <laughs> yeah, they call all kinds of stuff. Uh, yeah, it was fun watching the guys get in trouble. They're, they're women, and I love the when you're watching those shows, the the hairstyles and the clothes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I think. I think Newlywed Game was mostly filmed in the '60s, probably, wasn't it? Is that, uh, maybe. I don't know. We I, we'll have to look. It seems like some it. seems like some of those were reruns, and not like live. But maybe maybe they were. Hollywood Squares. Oh yeah, Hollywood Squares is good. Oh yeah. Because Paul Lynn was always in the middle. That was his spot. Um, yeah, that was a great show. And then they had, I think he was the only regular. I think the other eight squares were Family Feud. Were uh, yeah, I think that's still going too. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Remember when there was a time there you didn't want to be the host of Family Feud because you'd die. Oh yeah. There was like a curse on the Family Feud. Uh, yeah, some good game shows uh, back in the day. I don't watch game shows anymore, so I don't. I don't. Now speaking of dying, Bob Saget died. I know. What's up with uh, you know I. Here, probably none of our fans, but I saw a bunch of people grouping Betty White, Bob Saget, and Sidney Portier uh, all together for dying in 20, saying how bad 2022 was already. No, Betty White did not die in 2022. Oh, no. Do not blame 2022 on Betty White. She was 20. Hi, we're back for the 800th time. Uh, Sorry, guys. Uh, I don't know what what's causing it to cut out. Uh, yeah. Anyway, but it comes back, so just hang with us. If you're listening, I'm gonna go. But you're short sorry, of it. gotta go. <laughs> Not getting to hear you guys. Yeah. Yeah, it might be a short episode tonight, Dad Gummit. Dang technical difficulties. Yeah. Sorry about the buffering and the cutting out, guys. I don't know what's. Uh, we we haven't really had this problem before. I mean, yeah. I, we did once, but. Anyway, sorry. Says, starting to lose more famous celebrities. Um, yeah, and you know why Betty White passed hey, away Trish. On, on New Year's Eve, not New Year's Day. So we could all toast Betty White and not toast the New Year's. Yeah. 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 So, And I guess I read that uh, Betty White had had a stroke the week before. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh, and you also discovered that technically she did make it to 100. 
Well, it's something about if you included leap, leap years. year days or something. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. anyway. It doesn't matter how old she was. She was great, and we're going to miss her. Trish from Class of 81 checking in. Hey, great Trish. to see you, Trish. We're having a little audio-video difficulty yeah. on this uh, Facebook Live. We could, we could cut out at any moment. We could be gone, but we always come back. So, uh, <laughs> don't leave us. Just hang. Just hang. Hang in there, people. You never know what could happen. We could have dancing bears come by or something. You never know. If we had uh, Graham out here. <laughs> oh, Kurt. Kurt joined in. He says he's late to the party. So, Kurt, you missed uh, Graham. You missed us answering Dave's questions. You missed us losing our signal four times at least. Uh, Dave says, you know what's weird is Betty White was alive his whole life. She was alive, most of us. Yeah. Uh, pretty much everybody. Actually, Dave, she was alive probably for 90% of everyone who's ever been alive right now. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I saw the other day that uh, an article on the world's oldest lady. I think she's 125. Something like, yeah. The Asian lady. Yeah. Yeah. Holy moly. Can you imagine? Yeah. Let I me mean, think about it. I mean, 125. So she was born in... Well, the 1800s. Yeah. The question is, like, was she healthy at, like, 105? Like, could she walk and do things? Uh, that's the whole thing about getting old is... Um, mm, yeah. Quality have you ever of life. thought about doing your live shows? YouTube live? Um, it, would, it wouldn't be any better because... Uh, it's all the same signal. So, but yeah, we have thought about doing YouTube. We we would like to do Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube all at the same time, which we used to attempt. No, but uh, yeah, I don't think our issue is Facebook. I think it's our. Internet. It's my. It's my. Yeah, it's my Wi-Fi is is the problem. No. Uh, yeah, Betty White was hot. She even I. Oh, even at even, ninety-nine, she was. Heck yeah! I mean, it was her attitude. Her attitude. Her smile. Her attitude. Yeah, her yeah. smile. That's what made her hot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you imagine? She was a national treasure. Yes, she was, Dave. Just like you. So we still want to know about this Massachusetts gal. He know, he has an answer. You know, it's kind of funny. Dave doesn't answer some of our questions Dave sometimes. Dave gets tight-lipped. Dave gets tight-lipped. And no, Dave. And yes, by the way, about my hot tub. You're more than oh, welcome. I was going to say, yeah. You're more than welcome to come jump in the hot tub. But let me know so I'll know to wear a bathing suit because usually when I'm home alone, it's uh, Damas on Gratis in the, Ew. In, in the nudiest. Ew. Oh, it's a hot tub. TMI. <laughs> I ain't coming over. Uh, ain't. Oh, and then uh, Christopher Todd, he mentioned, uh, he, he said he had never been to Enid, but he's, he's like, you know, if you guys ever come to Enid, hell, let us up. Oh, here's something for you guys. Uh, it's un-70s related, but, you know, Enid had the world's largest fresh-cut Christmas tree mm -hmm. this season. Mm -hmm. We had tens of thousands of people come to Enid to see it. Well, they have, uh, they they turned the lights off and they're presently taking it down, but they did announce that they will be doing it again next year. And not just any old tree, another largest. The largest uh, fresh-cut Christmas tree will be in Enid again next year, so how plan tall, now. How tall is it going to be? I, they haven't announced how tall it'll be. But, plan uh, now? Um, you can stay at my, I got a guest house you can stay in. Yeah, you guys plan on coming to Enid for the holidays. It'll be fun. It was a big deal. Anybody that comes to Enid... We'll get you on an episode somehow. Oh, we'll either pre record it or something. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Trish says, Woohoo, party. Commando Todd. Yeah, that's it. If I'm in the hot tub, it's Commando. Commando Todd, yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah. I quit wearing underwear years ago, decades ago. I cannot stand to wear underwear. Oh, my. I don't know how you guys do it. TMI. <laughs> TMI. Did we wear underwear in the 70s? Tidy whities yeah, tidy whities yeah. tidy whities yes, we yeah. did. <laughs> yes, we did. Uh, that's the thing. My third wife got me started on that. So that was 30 years ago. My. So don't buy Todd underwear for Christmas, please. Socks. I need socks. You need socks. I go through socks like crazy. Socks and cool shirts. Cool sweatshirts. 
Yeah, so again, if you guys just joined us, uh, that was a Christmas gift for Todd, but we are going to try to do our own line of some tie-dye yeah. uh, shirts or sweatshirts that yeah. will have our swag and logos on them. Yeah. yeah. It's all coming. It's all coming together. Now that we got Curtis in his new studio and he's out of the old house. and Yeah, Dave, take vacation. Come down to Enid, Oklahoma. There's plenty to do. So around Enid... Enid is in a kind of a, so northwest Oklahoma, but close to Enid, we've got a thing called Little Sahara, which is this huge area of sand. It, it's like being in the Sahara Desert in northwest Oklahoma. But little. Then we've got this bat cave, and you go down to this cave, and there's thousands of bats. And then we've got this thing called the Great Salt Plains, and it's just this big salt water lake with this big area of salt. Mm-hmm. And you can dig for crystals, and it's the only place in the world you can dig for these selenite crystals. Oh, and then right down the road from that, there's a, a pipe. With a spring. There's a road. You, there's a highway, and there's a place to pull over, and there's this pipe sticking out of the ground. And it's just spitting out water, and it's like super good, fresh spring water. And people come from miles around to fill the jug. And it's free. You can fill your jug up, and it's been spitting water for Decades. Yeah, I remember we when we used to deliver cold. ice, and we would super stop by there and get a drink. And super clean. Oh, it's, it's cool all stuff. And the cool thing about Enid is we're two hours from Wichita, two hours from Tulsa. Well, not even two hours. Hour and a half, hour and a half, and hour and a half from Oklahoma City. So, if you want to go one of the big cities, you can. And what you might do is, if you really seriously are planning a trip to Enid, is check out the StrideBankCenter.com website and plan it with a 70. Uh, we've got Three Dog Night coming up. Mm -hmm. But um, look on the calendar and see what rock groups might be coming to Enid and plan uh, to come to Enid on a week or a weekend when we've got a um, super 70s group in town. That'd yeah. be cool. Yeah, I'll take you out to dinner. There you go. I'll yeah. take you out to Cherokee Ranch. That's right. They got really good steaks there. Probably the best ribeyes in town. Very good. Matthew Harrington. Boy, we don't hear as much about, yeah. you know, Matthew gets him a kid, and he we just don't uh, hear from him much anymore. <laughs> Is that Shelly? Is Shelly checking yep. in? Shelly checking in. Hey, Shelly. You guys missed uh, Graham, the new uh, Shaggy Duck mascot, uh, Buzz, Buzz mascot, but he was here earlier. He'll be around. There'll be a lot more, a lot more Thor. Deb, we are probably an hour, probably an hour and a half from Mustang. Maybe. Yeah. Basi it's, basically, it's Oklahoma City, so. Yeah. Um, it's between El Reno, yeah, hour and 15 minutes, depending on how fast you drive. It's not too far. Yeah. No, not at all. No, we're close to close to a lot. And then even like, if you want to go to Dallas or Kansas City, they're, you know, what, five hours away? No, not even five hours away. Well, with new speed limits, yeah, four and a half probably, yeah. Because so. when we're thinking about taking a long trip, it, sometimes we do we want to go up to Kansas City or down to Dallas, and they're usually they're it's about the same distance either way. Yeah, not a whole lot west of here though. <laughs> Panhandle, Amarillo, Amarillo by morning. Amarillo by morning, yeah. But between you, yeah, there's a there's a stretch of road in our Panhandle. You could just like let the steering wheel go and you just drive. Well, I think I think it's the longest, the straightest, longest piece of highway in the country in the it. panhandle i think that's what i've read it before oh not miss can you fly into enid um we do have an airport but it would have to be a you'd have to bring a private two-seater i there's no flights no. into enid there uh, used to be water, still water you can, yeah still water which is a little over an hour away and we don't under, I don't understand why Stillwater gets flights and Enid Enid did at one time and for some reason we don't anymore. Yeah. But you can fly like I said you could fly into Kansas City or excuse me Wichita Tulsa or Oklahoma City and uh, let us know we'll come pick you up. Yeah. Heck yeah. And it may be something to do with our Air Force base cuz now our pilots oh. our Air Force pilots land at our private or city um, airport yeah. so which by the way serves really good food. We're going to be eating there. They have a great buffet the third <laughs> Saturday of every month. We'll be there Saturday morning. Would be a good all you uh, can eat buffet. So you got yeah. So we might even um, you guys watch the calendar and well that wasn't in the seventies though. I was going to say one of these days we may run over to Tulsa and recheck out the uh, Outsiders House, but that but I did that. That was written in the seventies though. She wrote the books in the seventies. Oh, absolutely, yeah. The yeah. movie came out later though. Like. Mm -hmm. Early, early 80s. Dave, we uh, we we are going to plan our trip up there. 
I don't know when, yeah. but ow, cramp, ow, got a cramp. Uh, 80s and not yeah matthew's always want us to do the 80s podcast uh just, matthew, you do the 80s podcast yeah you uh, we nominate you we're gonna, and and we will come sit in every once in a while turn that over to you yeah we need to get renee set up for maybe yeah next week maybe we will have a female guest do we go black again no, or just I, my ipad yeah love to see the outsider's house yeah it's Honestly, it's a little underwhelming because it literally just looks like somebody's house. Uh, I'm pretty. I, I guess it's cool inside. Yeah, but um, it can't be. And it, and they've redone all the streets around it, so the streets are all nice because it's in a ratchet part yeah. of, of of Tulsa. Yeah. Uh, but the street within you know blocks around because they, I guess they had so much traffic, uh, they redid them. So I kind of would like to seen it with the old streets and stuff. Uh, but but looking at it, it's like I, you know, it doesn't you don't yeah. landmarks type stuff. It you know if it I wasn't it wasn't a huge huge part of the movie. I mean it was, but it yeah. 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 It's funny you say underwhelmed. I that was what I thought when I went to see Graceland. I thought I was expecting this huge now momentous and Graceland's not that impressive. It's cool. It's, it's just not cool. huge. It's, it's not huge. Yeah, it's not imp- it's not impressive size wise. It's oh. cool because it's got green shag carpet and Elvis lived there. But yeah. as far as you think it's going to be this massive lawn and, and no. house and the I, rooms actually are pretty small. I was really surprised on the kitchen. Yeah, my kitchen, Curtis's kitchen is a lot bigger and a lot nicer. Of course, you know standard, you know. Stuff we have nowadays, but I was like, "This is the kitchen they hung out in." It was. Li- it kind of reminded me of my old kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, ooh. Really? I mean, it was neat. It just was a little, yeah. Yeah, and it was, you know, and everything was. It was cool. uh, jungle rooms really cool. Oh, and by the way, happy birthday, Elvis. Yeah, the other day, and uh, but, uh they've proven that Elvis is still alive. By the way. You still haven't told me where that what what that means. I figured we talk about it on the eighty on the oh, okay. Bushead Radio. Bushead Radio. Well, Elvis was pretty popular, and oh, here's some. Did we talk about this? I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking. When I was, I can't remember. So I was talking about how I'm going to integrate some real events into um, Banana Seat Squad, the book yeah. about growing up in the '70s, and I'm trying to find a concert that happened in the summer of 1977 in Oklahoma and discovered that Elvis was at the Lloyd Noble in Norman in March of 77, of 77 two nights. Mm-hmm. And um, did we talk? I can't remember if we talked about that on one of the shows or just no, you and me you, talking. You just brought it up the other day and I was devastated because I didn't. Or maybe you did bring it up last week. Yeah. Or it could have been on the other I think it was on the podcast. other episode, the other podcast. Yeah, Curtis borrowed a piece of green shag carpet. Yeah, I did too. And so did a lot of other people because there's bare spots. When you walk down the steps to go to the yeah, jungle it's, room. Yeah, it's picked over. Um, the green carpet lines the stairway and it's, yeah. Mine's, mine's right over there on the wall. Yeah. It's framed. I Mine's somewhere. I don't know where it went. Todd still hadn't found his and I still haven't found that dang cassette that I recorded in like 1974, oh, 75. Oh, Sherry's mom went to that concert. We need to oh, get Sherry's really? mom on the, on the show. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, I hate to say it, but that was during his heavier yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. But he lost, but he lost a lot of weight and he's, you know, he's, he's, he's still, you know, he's 80 something now. Okay, pause. Google it. it, it <laughs> Google it. It, it. Okay, I didn't realize this, and it came up on TikTok last night about these uh, the the Elvis. They call it the Elvis conspiracy. So, so what happened is, Colonel Parker said, told Elvis that he could make a lot more money if he died, and and, and Colonel Parker could make a lot more money because Elvis still makes a ton of money today. I think he makes more money now, actually, than Probably. he did when he was alive. Sherry, uh, Sherry's, she's alive. My mom. Oh, who's okay? So is it Kenny? Oh, I'm sorry, Sherry. I'm, oh, that gummit. Oh, okay, anyway. but that's pretty cool knowing yeah. that Elvis was in Oklahoma. Yeah. Towards the end of, I'm sure she told you all about it. So anyway, it was a wax dummy in the co- in the casket. Oh. 
uh, they spelt his middle name wrong on his grave, which is is wrong. I've seen it. You saw it. Were you there when the? I was there. Yeah, the Cassie, the grave was already there. Uh, he faked his death, took his brother's name, Jesse Guerin, and lived out his life that way. They have DNA proof. They have photos. They have all this stuff. Now, and what's weird is all this stuff was from 2017, 2018. It, he's alive. I always, I knew he was alive. Now, he may not be. Okay, in 2017, 2018, he was alive. You know, I've heard that he lives on an island with JFK and Michael Jackson, though. I don't know. What do I know? Did you see the... Well, it's not 70s related, but remind me about the Tucker Carlson. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you guys <laughs> want to hear all these other stories... Yeah, we're, yeah, we're going on. We're trying to stay on topic a little more because that's what Buzzhead Radio, the podcast Buzzhead Radio, we yeah. can get off topic because there is no topic. I'm so. Buzzhead Radio. Catch us over there. So anyway, you know what? Before we before we cut out again, we're gonna get out of. uh, We're gonna shut down the at least podcast portion of this show. Uh, We'll stay on Facebook Live here for a few more minutes. But anyway, you guys go to uh, iTunes and leave us a review or leave us some comments over there on Buzzhead Radio. You can call us at five eight zero five four one three eight zero five. Or uh, hit us up at buzz at buzzheadmedia.com. And I promise for you guys that are waiting for the Shaggy Duck sticker, it will be mailed out this week with something else and something else for some. It's it's surprise time. So you guys be looking for your packages uh, to come soon. And I guess we're going to get out of here. See you later. See ya.